This is JMO and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to convert previous 2K cyberfaces to 2K23. Understand that as of today, hair and beard models are not compatible, so we will be doing only the body model and the face texture. And before we begin, I want to quickly shout out Maurizio Memali for making the mesh data transfer plugin, Greg K. Ways for making the export blender plugin. Louis for making and dropping the modding tool as quickly as he did. Also Dominus for sponsoring the public release. Manja for making this amazing curry cyberface and allowing me to showcase it. Their link will be in the description. Please note that this tutorial is not for beginners. I will not be covering how to install the hook, Notepad++, 7-zip or where to get all cyberfaces. Let's begin. You want to create a folder. And you're gonna name it, in my case, I'm gonna name it Curry. And you only need two files from here. You need the face and the PNG. Now, open up your Curry and make another folder called New. You're gonna open up your PNG, and you're gonna take your hi hat. in your model file. Also if you wanna if you wanna include like leg tattoos and chest tattoos also take those. So in this case it would be Now open up your new. You're gonna go over to your game and you're gonna export PNG. This file right here. Dot F. And you're gonna go to your export folder which to get to you, you need to go to your 2K23 directory and go to exports. All right, this is your 2K23. This goes right here. You're gonna take all of this and you're gonna drop in here. You're gonna go in the high head Scroll all the way down and make sure it says high head. Save it. And then go to your appearance. Scroll all the way down. And we're going to look for we're going to look for face underscore color. In 2K23, each character has more than one version of themselves. So think of it as you have like a curry with long hair, you have a curry with short hair, and you have a curry with a fade. Uh, so the game, instead of having three different models and textures, the way they do it is they have different texture files attached to every single configuration. So if you go into your manifest, I want to show you something. If you go into your manifest and you search for face as you can see there's more than one face texture. We're going to find what version of Steph uses this file and we're going to make that the default Steph. I know that sounds confusing but I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So once you find your face color here, you're going to look up which type of configuration it is. In this case, you're going to scroll down and see where it says fade right here. That's the one. So where it says fade here, you're going to copy that. Scroll all the way up where it says default config. And you're going to paste. And you're going to paste right here, fade. 
What that does is whenever we open up Steph, it's going to load up the fade version. So we're going to save that and get out of there. Now we made changes on the appearance and on the high head. So make sure you make your changes, go into here. And now this right here, we're going to cut it. I want to drop it on our mods folder. All right. Now we're going to create another folder here. And we're going to call it export. All right. You should have your 2K22 stuff here and your 2K23 stuff here. Now we're going to now we're going to do the blender portion. So I'm going to include this folder on the description. So this folder right here has Blender with all the plugins you need already installed. So you're going to open up Blender. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, we're going to make sure we have our plugins enabled. You need Mesh Data Transfer right here. And we need the 2K22 Import Export Tool. If you don't see those, go to Preference and make sure that you find them here. 2K, make sure that's clicked on. Same thing with mesh data transfer, right here. Again, the only way you're gonna have this is if you download my, my folder with all of this already installed. So we're gonna go over here and you're gonna import your old face so go to go to curry right here where it says hi head okay that's our old one you're gonna take him and you're gonna drag him all the way to the right so you can so you can actually compare the changes and make sure you're doing everything right now we're gonna rename rename this it's gonna get called old so you don't get it confused now you're going to go into edit mode, deselect everything, go over here, scroll all the way down and find, and you're going to find the groups that you want to make changes on. We're going to start with the head. You're going to select it and press P and then we're going to click on selection. And now you just made a new model and we're going to name that face. Now you're going to go back over here. You're going to select the base body. And again, you're going to press B. Sorry, P as in Papa. And then select section. And you're going to name that chest. Now import your 2K23 cyber face. We're going to go to new. And click on high head import oh I forgot to do something well it's, it's alright we can do that later we're gonna hide all of this with H or you can just click on the eyes here we're gonna hide everything minus the high head and that's what we're gonna be making changes to So you're going to click on your high head. So this part right here has to be in object mode. Do not go into edit mode or sculpt or anything. Just stay in object mode. And you're going to click on, on the triangle right here, object data properties. Scroll down where it says mesh data transfer. And you're going to click on active UV. And you're going to select what you want to copy. So let's start with the face. We're gonna click on face and now you're gonna click which part of this model you want to transform into the face. So we're gonna we're gonna look for blend head shape and then we're gonna click on this bottom on, on this button right here it says transfer shape. It's gonna take a second and then this should change into this. Now as you can tell, I don't know if you saw that 
let me zoom in so you can see better that was the change the so you can see we have a brand new stuff now we can come over here and hide the head we can get rid of this and now we're gonna do the same thing for the chest in object mode you're gonna click on stuff the 2k23 version right <clears throat> and then in here you're gonna click on this X and now you're gonna sample the body over here where it says chest and then you're gonna click on the group that you want to transform into that chest it's gonna be base body and then you're gonna click on on here transfer and you're gonna see his shoulders grow a little bit when I click this button when I click this button boom now you can get rid of this and now we're ready for export click on your stuff I'll show you go back we're not gonna export yet now we have we're gonna have to we're gonna have to adjust the eyes and the mouth because as you can see there's gonna be some clipping because it's not perfect and I and I know this is a tutorial, but we wanna we wanna make sure it looks right, even though we're not striving for perfection right now. So you're gonna go into edit mode. And you're gonna click on here on the wire. There we go. And the first thing we're gonna align is the mouth. You're gonna click to the side, align right here. And we're going to click on tongue shape. And what we're trying to align here is this. You see this line right here? That's the crease. That's, that's what's going to. That's what you need to align with the. With the division of the top and bottom teeth. So the way we do that, we're going to click on these arrow right here. Make sure symmetry is not enabled and we're gonna move this back a little bit and high and higher so make sure that this line right here lines up with the teeth kind of like that that, that might be enough now the eyes. Deselect everything. You're going to select eyes, lashes, shader, eyelashes, all this stuff. Make sure you do not have symmetry. When we're, sculpt when we're sculpting, we want symmetry. But when we're doing edit, like editing the UVs, we, we, we do not want symmetry. So, so the way, so the way we do this, we're gonna have to do this twice. We're gonna deselect one com one eye. So you're gonna hold down Control and select one eye, and that's gonna deselect it. And now we go over here and we align the eye. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the X first. Like that, more or less. You want to align, let's align the bottom part. There we go. More or less. All right. And then we're going to select everything again. And we're going to do the other side. Again, you hold down control and you deselect. So we're gonna we wanna align the bottom part of the eye. Alright. Now select everything again. Not the tongue. And make sure they're not 
too far forward or too far backwards. So this part right here. There we go. Well, that looks fine. That's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Okay. Now you click on it, go to object mode, and export it. I'm going to go to your desktop, curry, new, export, accept. It's going to take a minute. Hopefully, it doesn't freeze. No errors. That's great. Usually, you usually get errors. Okay, so now close this. Go to new, export. We have all the models here. We only need this one. We don't need all this crap LOD. But I forgot to edit the high head on the on the initial model, so that's what we get. So now you're you're gonna go your mods, you're gonna open up your PNG. And you're gonna drop this one right here. Yes. And on your high head, you we're gonna make sure that only there we go. We already did it. Never mind. Close this. Let's check in game if it worked. Yes, there we go. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the, the face texture is the same. And that's because we haven't changed it yet. Okay, so we're going to go over to mods. Find your texture file, which is the... Oh, I don't have it here. Great. face there we go Drop that in there grab your face and drop it on your mods folder so let's fix that right there so the way you fix that you're gonna go into your PNG open up your uh, your appearance where's your appearance there you go here and it's gonna be chest thick Oh, here's a problem. The thin portion is 0.5. Let's make that a zero. Save it. But we're done with this. Don't save it. Doesn't matter. And just like that, look at the texture. Look at the body. And. As of day two of 2K22, I have the best Steph Curry. Look at that. One thing you want to check is the mouth. It could be lower. Eh, it's not terrible. Yeah, I would lower it a little bit. 